Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. Today I want to talk to you guys about private browsing or also known as incognito mode. Typically when you're surfing websites, there's a lot of information saved on your computer from those specific websites and a lot of that information can be read back and forth between your computer and the websites. When you're surfing in privacy mode or private browsing, incognito mode, however you want to word it, some of the things that are normally tracked are no longer saved on your computer such as your search history, your searches in your search bar, cookies, and temporary files. Some of the things that they will still save on your browser are your downloads at any new bookmarks you create. Something to keep in mind is, even though privacy mode stops a lot of that information from being saved on your local computer, like your search history and your cookies and your cache, that information can still be read by the IT director of your company because you're on a network, or your internet service provider can still bring up a history of what sites you went to. So privacy browsing doesn't exactly keep you in the dark. Now before I show you how to access privacy browsing in the different browsers, you might be asking yourself, why would I ever need this? Well, for instance, on an innocent term, maybe you're trying to shop for a birthday present or a Christmas present for somebody in your family, and you don't want them to be able to accidentally pull up the search history and say, oh, okay, this is what they were searching. I can see what they got. So you can keep that kind of hidden there. Or you might have other reasons why you want to hide what you're searching on the internet. Also, here's a little tip that people may not know about. When you're surfing the internet and you're browsing and shopping for hotels and airlines and car rentals, all of the companies track which sites you've already been to. So if you go to a site and get a price quote for one and then go to another site, that site will be able to Okay, now I'm going to show you how to go about turning on private browsing in the different browsers. In Firefox, it's really easy. You just go up top left hand corner under File, open up that window, and you'll see where it says New Private Window. And when you click on that, it'll open up a new private browsing window, which you can see by the little picture of the mask in the top corner, and it shows you all the things that it is no longer tracking. Google Chrome works pretty similarly, except for the menu bar is in the top right hand corner where the three little bars are. You click on it and choose new incognito window and it'll do the same and open up a new window and now you are in incognito. Internet Explorer is only slightly different in that it's under the tools menu and it's called in private browsing here. Click on it, does the same thing, opens it up in a brand new window and lets you know that you are in private. It shows it up next to the search bar at the top and this will hide everything just as normal. And that's all there into it and you are now searching in private mode. Now one thing do keep in mind is this will not protect you from malicious software, key loggers, drive-by trojans, and other forms of malicious software that can get on a computer just from browsing the internet. So do keep cautious as normal when you're surfing the web when surfing in incognito mode. So that's pretty much it. This wraps up the video. If you have any questions, do drop it in the comment section below and I'll happily answer it as quickly as I can. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos and do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Thank you guys so much for your time. You have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later.